Hey everyone, today we're checking out our serial cable tester. You know I love serial, it's on all of my dev boards, on every dev board I've ever seen, any product that I've ever seen. So inevitably, you have a ton of serial cables lying around the office. Now, obviously you can look at them and decide if they're male or female, no problem. But what you can't see, in most cases, is are they straight through cables or null modem? Why are they not labeled? I've only seen one cable ever labeled null modem. The rest, it's kind of a mystery. The other thing you can't see is are all the connectors intact? Okay. Now, we have wasted an immense amount of time with the wrong cable or broken cable, an embarrassingly a long amount of time. We needed to stop doing that. So we came out with an ultra simple, easy way to test serial cables. Let's check it out. Okay, so this device is really, really straightforward. Let's start at the back here. So we've got a coin cell uh, that powers this, and this coin cell will never die on you because when the device is not, when you don't have a cable plugged in, then no power is being consumed. So this will sit there and go forever unless, of course, you leave a cable plugged in. On the front side, you've got an array of nine LEDs. So those correspond to the conductors in the cable. And then you've got two indicator LEDs here that will tell us if it's a straight cable or a null modem cable. The switch here on the left here goes uh, and sets it up for the straight or null test. And if you switch it over, it goes to the continuity test. Okay, so let's check this out quickly. I've got a couple of different cables here. This guy here, male and female. Uh, both genders are provided, so side A, side B, doesn't matter what you have there. This happens to be a female, so I'll plug it in there. And this side happens to be a male, so I plug it in there. So right away, you can see that our indicator for a straight cable turns on. So right away, we know that this is a straight through cable. And we can flip the switch quickly and see right away that all nine of our LEDs are lit. So we know that all the conductors are good. And it's often a good time or a good idea with a cable just to kind of wiggle things. Um, and you can sometimes get an intermittent uh, connection so you can actually see that flicker on the, on the LEDs. Okay. Let's try a different cable. Let's pull this out and go back to our straight or null test. Now this is a null modem cable. This is like the one and only cable I've ever seen that's actually labeled null modem. Not sure if you can see that. Uh, plug this in, female on that side. This happens to be a female on that side. Okay. So right away you see it's null modem, that other LED lights up. Okay, so that's a quick test. And that's really the main purpose of this device is to, to check between straight and null uh, cables that you have lying around. So really, really quick test. But of course we can also switch to the uh, continuity test and check out this particular cable. With null modems, their connections are kind of weird uh, a lot of times and they can be connected internally differently. Uh, so you want to just make sure that this is corresponding to what you expect. I think in most cases you have one connector, which is the chassis ground, uh, that's not lit. So that's sort of expected. Um, and depending on how they've done the other cables, uh, this one, this LED seems to be a bit dim. So there's probably something in, in series or parallel there that is making that a bit dim. But at least we know that the contact is there. Now, one last demo is one other cable here. So we'll hook up this guy. And here you can see that one of the connectors isn't lit up or lit up. And this is a purposely destroyed cable. I've pulled it out and taken off a connector. So just as an example to show that right away, you can see that there's a bad connection in this particular device. And of course, if you flicked it off there, you can still see it's a straight through cable. Um, that determination is just based on uh, the pins two and three, which are the transmit and receive. So for all practical purposes in your embedded systems, when you're doing serial cables, and you have these lying around where you're mostly using transmit and receive, this device is absolutely perfect. Um, we have them everywhere around the office because you can literally waste hours of your time with a wrong cable or a broken cable. So hope that helps you out. Thanks very much.